Gary Ray Rush. Welcome to my tutorial on changing your exposure or luminance values directly with your histogram. Did you know that you can control blacks, shadows, midtones, highlights, and whites with your histogram? Well, you can, and I'd like to demonstrate. First of all, I want you to observe that when you are in the develop module in Lightroom, here's the develop module here, this is what we're doing right now. If you hover over your histogram, it becomes interactive. Notice how each of these columns is being highlighted. So here we have blacks, shadows, notice just under the bottom left of the histogram it says shadows, and as we move over here it says exposure. Moving over here it now says highlights and then we have whites. So each of these columns becomes highlighted as we hover over it. The highlighted section of the histogram corresponds with a slider down below. So blacks, I could shift the blacks here. You know, we could open up the blacks quite considerably in this photograph. Or I can simply grab the blacks in the histogram and shift it to the right. And you see the slider shift to the right along with it. So this is what I'm referring to when I'm talking about um, controlling your exposure with your histogram. So when we go through this, we'll go from blacks, I'll move the blacks to the right. Now shadows, I'll move the shadows to the right. And just clicking and dragging to the right, opening up the shadows. And now we'll open up the midtones. And exposure is the slider that affects the midtones. And notice when I hover over the middle of the histogram, bottom left it says exposure. And this refers to the midtone uh, pixels in this photograph. So I'm going to click and drag to the right, and we're opening up the midtones. And now I'm going to open up the highlights by clicking and dragging here, this section of the histogram. And finally, we'll open up some of the whites increase the exposure of the whites by dragging them over to the right. And so now we have what looks like a fairly well exposed photograph compared to the original capture. And this was all done using only our histogram. Now try it on one of your photographs. Okay, thank you for watching this short tutorial on adjusting your exposures using the histogram. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like and share it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you'd like to view more of my photography tutorial videos, please subscribe to my channel.